Hello everyone, my name is The Bread Roll and thank you for joining me for another freshly baked review for Two Beard Gaming. Today we are taking a look at Monstrum on the Nintendo Switch. Monstrum is a survival horror experience. You awaken aboard a cargo vessel to find the crew is gone and you must find a way to escape the ship either by a helicopter or a submarine. Now it goes without saying that is going to be easier said than done, as a helicopter and a submarine both need items to get them started. The helicopter, for example, will need you to find some fuel or a key to open the cockpit and something to cut the chains, where the submarine will require a series of repairs before it can be launched. To find these items you must explore the ship, which is procedurally generated, meaning that every time you play the game, things will be in a different location and the layout will be different. And if that wasn't bad enough, on each playthrough you will be stalked by one of the game's many enemies. Though you will only ever be hunted by one enemy type per playthrough, the enemies are various throughout the game as you play over and over, so getting to know their strengths, weaknesses and how they hunt you will be the key to success. Although you can't actually combat the enemies, you can hide from them, and running is always a good tactic. Half the time I usually turn around the corner, see an enemy, make a noise that sounds like it should be on a Prince album, and run away. This formula of first person horror fixed with jump scares and having to complete some objectives is not something new. We've seen it before in games like Outlast, Amnesia and recently The Persistence. But what Monstrum does bring to the table, it does it pretty well and gives a good experience for people who enjoy the jump scare and speedrun playthroughs. The controls are easy to get along with. The only thing you really have to concern yourself with is staying alive and balancing your inventory. You can hold several items, so deciding what items you want to take, whether you're going to work on the helicopter or the submarine, and then focus on that one individual task, will be another key to success. As you travel, you will find a few handy tools to make your life easier. Flashlights and glow sticks will help illuminate the darkness of the vessel. However, there are security cameras that if they spot you will make a horrendous noise that will alert the monster to your presence. So it's always keen to keep an eye out, see where there's a hiding place nearby while you explore an area. Overall performance on Nintendo Switch was really good. The graphics were impressive. They weren't state of the art, but they looked gritty and grimy enough to suit a horror setting. The controls, as I mentioned, were simple enough to use, but they were clunky enough to feel restrictive enough to suit a horror setting as well. The only issue I did have was with the loading. In between rounds, the loading time would take up to several minutes, which is a little bit frustrating if you just had a good run and you wanted to get back into the action for some more. In conclusion, Monstrum is a great game for fans of survival horror and procedurally generated experiences. If you're looking for a deep invested story, you might want to look elsewhere, but there are some audio logs and notes to find about the ship to give you a bit of backstory. But the core experience comes from playing the game in a dark room with some mates taking a piss out of each other for pulling stupid faces every time something scary happens. Failing that, just stick some headphones on, turn the lights out and have a good time. It took a couple of tries to really get into the flow of Monstrum, but once we did, we really enjoyed the experience on hand. The game is priced at £24.99 or $29.99, and 2 Beer Gaming award Monstrum 7 out of 10. Thank you for joining us for another freshly baked review, and we'll catch you next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.